I grew up uh, in, in Texas, and, and I think one of the things that I learned to play early on and, and found to be the most useful uh, was what everyone calls a double shuffle. And um, I take that and I use variations of that. If I'm playing in a blues band situation, uh, even kind of a bigger band kind of thing, uh, it, it, it would, I would say if, you know, if I had a trademark shuffle that was mine, I don't own it, by the way, but I mean that I do often and I'm kind of known for, it would be my double shuffle. That's really what commands where the groove is, that that back beat is on the back of the beat, still. And I'm hitting, obviously getting a rim shot on it as well, which really makes it strong. And the way I, when, if, if when I teach someone this and I sit down with them, that left hand's got to be to the point where you can almost command the groove, where you can almost play one, two, three, four. is that strong, everything else falls into all these other variations you have. You can go to four on the floor, or you can go, which is what I was doing. You can swing it a little more. You can actually play a ping a -ling, you know? you can do is leave something out, okay? So uh, I'm just going to play the hands here. And I'm going to leave the front part of that out and just go... Once again, you've got cymbal rhythms you can just do straight fours. Our shuffle. I was wondering, how does tempo affect the type of shuffle that you play? Like a really, really fast shuffle, like a yeah, you're Colin gonna, shuffle or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna really pull. Uh, you're gonna you know you're gonna close up those notes quite a bit, and you're gonna uh, it's it's gonna get a little. You know, plus plus to keep it swinging and have the backbeat. There you go. I left a little bit out of that one. On, that on the felt, left hand. On that felt better at a, at a, at, a, at a, you know it didn't feel like it was pushed. Got a little grace note going in there, but I'm not playing all of the triple. I might elect to just play a backbeat. You know, that's a little more rockabilly, really. It, you yeah, know what I mean? yeah. So that's going to get closer. That's going to bridge you between rockabilly and country away from more of the blues or jazzy swing. Era. How about when somebody wants, they don't want a 12 bar blues, they want a really slow shuffle? Which is basically, it almost breaks into 12A. You know, and you don't have to, you don't have to play uh, like that. I 
was wondering how grace notes and ghost notes fit into shuffles. How do you like to squeeze them into? Uh, I, I've got. I, I do this drag that I've been doing for you. That's one of my favorites. It's just kind of habitual, really.